Hello my friends and welcome to the video here today where of course as you guys can tell by the title we are going to be checking out the Pain Train Assault Rifle it did just come out yesterday or when the weekly item shop reset from what I've heard it's a really really good weapon so I can't wait to try it out We do have our hands on the weapon now finally it does look really really cool it's got the coal on the back it's got some snow along the top which is really cool it's got a chimney above it as well it's got a bell at the front it's got some wheels on the sides and it's got the train tracks on the handle as well which is really really cool the design of this weapon is awesome i hope it is as awesome as it looks because it looks amazing so the perks we do have on our one are plus 25 crit rating plus 113 percent crit damage the element we got on it is energy and plus 20 percent damage we got plus 63 percent magazine size plus 24 percent damage to mr monsters and bosses and the last perk which is a unique perk which sounds really really cool is each shot fired grants plus 1.8 percent damage for one second and it stacks up to 15 times so as you guys can see this is maxed out at power level 130 sunbeam so it is going to be doing a lot of damage as well and we've got that increased magazine size so we are going to be shooting for a very very long time and doing so much damage with this gun. The hero setup we are using for this weapon is Love Ranger in our primary slot. He's going to give us some extra reload speed, a bigger clip capacity just to shoot for longer and he's going to give us some extra damage as well to our assault rifle. Master Grenade is also going to give us some extra damage as well. And then in our tactical bonus we got Raven who's just going to help us kill some husks every time. Every time we kill 10 enemies we're going to deal an explosion that just kills more husks. So. Alright guys so we did just decide to go ahead straight into a public mission. I thought it'd just be better and we have found a group of husks. We're going to go ahead and test out this weapon against them. Let's see how quickly it takes them all out. They do have healing death burst on which is annoying. The magazine size is 60 by the way which is awesome. Just super high you can shoot for so long before having to reload. I don't want to just spray and pray I actually want to take a little bit of time. There we go. And we've still got about half of the magazine left. And we just took out most of them as well which is great. We only had to reload one time I believe which is awesome. If you just kind of spray it and pray it like that, you're going to run out of bullets a lot quicker. But if you ADS and shoot here and here and here slowly like that, then you'll be saving a lot more bullets and doing a lot more damage, which is awesome. Let's go ahead and go to their spawn. Okay, I'm pretty sure it's not going to shoot through them. Yep, that's annoying. Let's go ahead and throw a grenade down. Take you out. Again, I love it because it's just going to kill all the elemental husks. It doesn't matter if you're going in a nature mission, fire mission, water mission. It will take them all out super quick which is awesome. Let's go ahead and put our slow fuel down. Because we don't want to get close to them otherwise we will just die. There's a blaster over there as well. Look at that. Look how far we are and we killed him super quick as well which is just awesome. Atlas is taking some damage which is not good. Let's go over to this side. It's just taking them all out so quickly. I love it. The damage numbers we're getting are super high as well. Like, let, let's take a look at the numbers. 35,000, 14,000. It's super high. The fire rate on this weapon is great as well. Let's take out this taker. Oh, he just took out our teammate. And you're dead. Let's go ahead and revive him. Alright, uh, he's back up. It's not bad from range either. The recoil on it is super super good as well, like it doesn't shake all over the place. The aim on it is really really good as well, I love that. Like from range here it still works out super well as you guys are seeing. It doesn't shake all over the place, you can still hit your bullets on the target pretty easily which is great. We've got a smasher here, let's go ahead and shockwave. Just hit fire, look at that. We didn't even use, we used about 12 bullets and he died, like, 
Wow. Let's go ahead and put our slow field down. Let's take out this one as well. This gun melts smashes. It just melts them. Let's go for some headshots as well. Look at that. We're getting a huge amount of damage. 30,000, 40,000, 60,000. Let's go ahead and heal our teammate. I don't know. I think he was already full health. Never mind. Let's go ahead and take out these husks over here. Let's repair this. There's one down here. Let's take him out quickly. There we go. You're dead. We've got another smasher over here. He's melted. You're dead. It just melts them so, so quickly. And the thing about it is like, it's really good at close range and long range as well, which is awesome. Why is the Atlas red, by the way? We're not... Yeah, we're not going to fail the mission, obviously, but it is still annoying that it went red. I've been so busy killing Hus, I didn't even see the Atlas. One dude is still farming. Look at that guy, he's still farming. That take is there. Let's take out that blaster. Let's take out that blaster now. There we go. And... That is the mission done. It just melts the blasters and the husky husks and the takers and the smashes. It just shredded through them. So if you're spending about 20, 30 light bullets to kill a smasher, that's nothing because every time you craft it, you're getting 60. So you're saving a lot of like crafting materials when you're making ammo as well, like nuts and bolts. This weapon won't drain through your nuts and bolts either because it, it doesn't waste all your ammo super quickly. It takes out the husks with minimal amounts of bullets, which is awesome as well. Again, energy is a, I think energy is a must have on this weapon. Otherwise, it will take longer and it will take more ammo to take out all the other husks. One crit perk, one crit damage perk, one magazine size. Damage to mist monsters and bosses actually really, really helped because it just helped taking out those blasters and smashers so so quickly even at long range and close range as well and the last perk of course it helped us to do so much extra damage the fire rate on this weapon is great as well the headshot damage is pretty decent as well it's a lot stronger than uh, just the regular damage of course the reload time on it isn't isn't bad either again i think the hero setup we were using was great as well the weapon looks awesome it sounds awesome every time you shoot it every time you reload it and I think this weapon is definitely one you guys should get as well. And I would recommend you make it Shadow Shard as well because the damage on it is just so, so strong. But yeah, let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. If you did enjoy the video, leave a like, hit that subscribe button and I will catch you guys next time.